Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the Whirlpool Dishwasher Access Panel Kit. It's going to be a very easy repair and should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new Access Panel Kit, which includes the screws and the mounting tabs and the access panel. The access panel kit covers up the opening at the bottom of the dishwasher. The manager should be changing it out if it's lost or damaged. In order to change the access panel kit, we're going to use the quarter inch nut driver to take out the screws that hold it onto the dishwasher. Once you have the screws out, you can just reach in and pull the access panel off. Here's the old access panel kit next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. This access panel kit replaces a bunch of different access panels. If you have to use these new mounting tabs and screws to mount it, you can. Ours already has the new ones on it, so we're not going to use them. In order to change out the access panel kit, we have to take the insulation and the wiring harness information off. The insulation is just glued on with some sticky glue. Sometimes it'll just peel right off and you can just pull it off. But if it gets stuck, you can take a razor blade and cut it so you don't ruin the insulation. Once you have the insulation off, you have to take off the envelope with the diagnostic paperwork in it. We're just going to carefully pull this off so we can swap it over to the new one. Once you have everything off, we're going to grab the new access panel, set it in here, and we're going to put the wiring harness information in place and stick it down. If your glue is not good, you can always put a little piece of tape there to hold that so you don't lose it. And we're gonna put the insulation on. You wanna put it on the same way it was on the old one. So you wanna make sure that this little cutout is on the right side. So we're just gonna take some high temp adhesive and run it along the panel here. You don't need a whole lot. You just need to run a bead along the top here so the insulation will stick to it. Once you have the adhesive on there, we can stick the insulation on. You just want to make sure it goes into this lip right here and make sure it's centered on these little cutouts. Once you have it in place, you want to press it down into the glue. And then let the glue dry overnight so the insulation doesn't fall off. Before you put the new access panel in, you want to look at the clips. If you already have the newer style, the clips should be there. If you have the older style where you're replacing the two-piece one, you may have to put these clips and adjust it to wherever it works for your dishwasher. We're just going to leave ours on the top because that's what works for ours. Once you're ready, you just feed the insulation underneath and then turn it up into place. Once you have it in there, we're going to use the corner nut driver to put in the screws. Once you have this side installed, we can do the one on the other side. Once you have the access panel installed, you can plug it in and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.